What's up, guys? So here is a 911 call that was made towards Aaron. Uh, let's listen. I'm calling about Aaron. Uh, I was just calling to see if, if there's any way you guys could send an officer to go check in on him. The thing is, he's, um, he's a very heavy drug user, and he's inhaling computer duster. And he was doing it all night, and they got into a huge fight, and she ended up bleeding. Yeah, she actually called in earlier and stated that she was going to go uh, check up on him, and uh, she was yeah. going to call back. I don't believe she ever did. Yeah, she didn't call back. She just called me, and she she felt like she should call you guys because there's nothing else she should do. I mean, I don't even know if there's anything you guys can do to help me. I just I don't know what to do at this point. Um, has Aaron made statements since you last spoke to him about potentially hurting himself or committing suicide or anything? Um, he hasn't made statements about hurting himself, but he's made statements about like hurting other people. Another thing too, just to note, he's also he said he's been abusing his animals, and she has videos of it. So I don't know if that would help either. What is? You're trying to send somebody over there to do a health check on him to make sure he's okay, and somehow that turned into you making accusations towards him instead of doing a health check. Are you calling for a health check? Or are you calling to be an asshole? He is, he is very, very ill. He is on the verge of death. So I am, you know, concerned that next time you guys go out there, it's going to be finding him dead. What? So. Yeah. Hi, I just called a little while ago to report Aaron Carter, and the officers were sent out there, but he was not home. He had already fled. Um, I'm calling to report him again now. What, what was it that he did before? Okay. Well, he, so he is basically a danger to himself. He's been trying to purchase the gun. He's... So we're making accusations. We're not trying to do a health check here. We're trying to get him in trouble. So it went from being a health check to being let's be assholes and make his life more miserable. That's what it went to. Right. I mean, the big, it's in there. You guys, I already reported it. Um, but he was just in a car accident, and he posted about it on his Twitter. And he said he totaled his car. And I know. The fuck does it have anything to do with anything? People have car accidents. It happens. The police have put a flag out for his car, and they're looking for it. Okay. Did it say where he got in the accident? No, it doesn't right now. Mm -hmm. Been driving drunk all night in his other car too. So, and I when they pull him over for this, because I've already read about this, and because she followed him around, she's supposedly scared to death of this guy, but she followed him around, and then they pulled him over and tested him for drugs or alcohol, and he was he passed the test, and they let him drive home. So she's making bullshit up. To make his life more miserable. Called you guys earlier. He had fled. She's part of the problem. So I'm sure he was driving fast and intoxicated, trying to get away from you guys. We're trying to get him Baker acted. So he's been intoxicated while he was driving. Oh yeah, he's been intoxicated all night, posting videos while driving, and he's he's very severely mentally ill. He's schizophrenic and bipolar, and he's been trying to. <sighs> They're just making shit up. This is why this guy lost his fucking mind. Was he a good guy? No, he did some stupid ass shit. He was doing dumb shit. He was beating his dog. He was pissing his neighbors off. He was doing drugs. He was doing things. He was slowly going out of control. But this woman was helping that be pushed faster. By making shit up. This was supposed to be a 911 call for a health check. That somehow turned into, let's be an asshole. And then after he passes, she acts like, oh my god, he, he died. It's, it's so sad. You didn't give a fuck, bitch. You were getting an apartment. You moved out. You weren't together anymore. The ring that he supposedly got you, you sold and got a cheaper ring so you could pocket the money. You're, you're a piece of shit, woman.
That's the only way to look at it. And you pushed him to do what he did even faster than what he did. You're at blame for this too. I don't give a fuck who I piss off. 